every bad time to create good opportunities i very firmly believe that every bad every bad times create some very good opportunities in maybe in different sectors but it uh, definitely creates good opportunities so exactly like you said uh as a as a labor practitioner uh, people can see a boom in practice in next say 6 months uh, normally what happens is that the recourse of industrial uh, of the uh, of the labor laws goes to the labor courts so i sincerely believe that in another 3 months there will be a huge rise in labor cases because the persons who have been laid off retrenched or you know terminated from their services will be filing a labor disputes to at least gain Gain some financial benefits out of that litigation. So I see that you know um, I see that lot of litigation will be brought into the uh, into the market in another uh, say six months or eight months. Right, and that that would be from both the sides. I believe. See, the industrial ID Industrial Dispute Act is the provisions which is applicable. Most of the provisions or majority of the provisions are applicable to both. Uh, labors as well as the industry so supposedly you are acting uh, acting on uh, acting on say uh, a proper procedure prescribed under the law to remove certain people from the industry, uh, from the from your organization even you have to go, sometimes go to the labor commissioners and prove your uh, prove your uh, method that what you have adopted is within the four corners of law and uh, the uh, the all fairness uh, our principles of natural justice have been adhered to so i see that in next 6 uh, months there will be a rise in labor litigation uh, from both the sides industry as well as workmen industry so that, that, that there is great opportunity there then for a lot yes, of people yes, who can actually make use of this time and learn these labor laws and uh, what is the actual kind of work some industries due to financial uh, measures will not deposit gratuity of the labors so that labors uh, will go f- to contest about their gratuity issues their wages might not be paid sometimes it happens is that uh, industry is not closed or a person is not removed from the industry but they are not being paid for 3 to 4 months so those three uh, those uh, people will be going under the payment of wages act to obtain their uh, back wages which they have not received and there are provisions that which says that uh, provisions as well as judgments which says that a uh, penalty of up to 10 times can be uh, levied upon the industry for not paying the wages so looking to that aspect and looking to the current uh, current scenario i very sincerely believe that you know there'll be a at least 40% more litigation then it usually happens in the labor courts in the uh, given lockdown situation see very frankly speaking system is never prepared so the system is always under prepared if the system is prepared um, properly then there is no point of litigation ever there will be never litigation uh, never litigation will never happen so system is always under prepared infrastructures of labor courts are very poor uh the um, uh, the labor commissioners the conciliation officers are always less so as i said that bad times go bring some very good opportunities so the system is uh, is not up to date so that means that litigation will grow hopefully if you think that you know that conciliation officers or mediation officers or labor commissioners who are adequate in number the you will not see that much rise in litigation so the since the system is not updated you will see that there will be a good rise in litigation right